it's Mr. T, and this is our second lesson in our unit on matrices. And today we're going to be talking about solving matrix equations, meaning solving equations where the elements in the equation are matrices as opposed to uh, numbers and letters or variables representing single numbers. And in order to solve matrix equations, we're going to need to talk about something called inverse matrices. So let's first, before we get into matrices, just review a very simple uh, algebra item here. So let's say we had the equation 3x plus 4 equals, I don't know, uh, 16. If we wanted to solve this equation, we have to undo this addition first, so we would add the opposite of 4, or subtract 4, and we have 3x equals 12, and then here we will do an inverse operation of the multiplying, which is to divide, and we get x equals 4. Alternatively, when we had got to this point, Another way of solving this would be to multiply by the reciprocal of 3 on both sides. And 1 third times 3 is 1. And 1 times x is just x. So another topic we'll be using here is for regular numbers, 1 is called the multiplicative identity. If you multiply 1 times anything, you just get the result that you had. Now the problem we have is if we are looking at a matrix equation, so in this case A, X, uh, let's add a B here maybe, and C are all matrices, so we have four matrices. Now our first step here is we do have matrix uh, addition and subtraction, so we can subtract matrix B and we would end up here with AX equals C minus B. But the next step, if we're modeling after numbers, would be to divide here, and we do not have matrix division. So we need to head into how we're going to handle that. Before we solve that equation, we need to now talk about what's called the matrix multiplicative identity. So we talked about it a minute ago, if I multiply 1 times something, I get, a, uh, I get the same thing. Well, in matrices, we couldn't just multiply by a matrix of just the number 1 here. So, you know, again, we could not just uh, multiply by uh, 1. This is a 1 by 1 matrix, and this is a 3 by 3 matrix. And we know from our earlier lesson that we could not multiply there. So our next concept here is, and you could trial and error this, but I'm just going to give you here our multiplicative identity. And the multiplicative identity is a matrix where we have ones down the diagonal and the other positions are zero. I think I talked about the multiplicative identity in the uh, opening video. Uh, multiplica multiplicative identities only occur for square matrices. If this was a 4x4, four four, then we would have a diagonal of four ones, etc. Now I've entered these matrices into uh, the graphing calculator, so I've put this in as matrix I, and I've put this in as matrix A. So let's bring up the calculator here and do that multiplication. So second matrix, I want matrix I, which is number 9. And I want to times that by matrix A. And I had previously entered matrix A as being that matrix. And we get back the same matrix. So that shows, so let me just bring up here again to show that matrix I here was our identity matrix. And matrix A was the same matrix that we got as a result. Now, we learned when we did multiplication that matrix multiplication is not commutative, but for this one particular uh, multiplication with uh, the identity matrix, that will be uh, 
commutative. So if we multiply here in the other order, we also get uh, the same matrix. So again, we've just shown that I times A gives me A, and A times matrix I also gives me A. So again, this is our multiplicative identity. Okay, let's talk about inverse matrices now. So our notation for an inverse matrix is shown here. It's the matrix name with a superscript of minus 1. And this matrix will be the inverse of A if, if I multiply A inverse times A. So you multiply an inverse times, it, times the matrix you took the inverse of. You get the identity matrix. And also if you multiply in the other direction, you get the inverse matrix. Now only square matrices can have inverses and some square matrices will not have an inverse, so only some matrices have inverses. Finding inverses is, if you have to do it manually, is very tedious. We'll see in a minute that using the graphing calculator it's quite simple. And part of the problem also is that for each size matrix there's a different formula. Uh, there are well-defined formulas for 2 by 2s and 3 by 3s Beyond that, it starts to get quite complicated. For a 2 by 2 matrix, if matrix A had elements A, B, C, D, to compute its inverse, we have a scalar number here, which is computed by essentially cross-multiplying and subtracting, so A times D minus B times C. It's 1 over that. And then inside the matrix, on this diagonal, we are swapping the uh, positions. And on this diagonal, we are multiplying by negative. Now, we're going to be using the graphing calculator, but I wanted to go through one example here, uh, doing it manually. So now we would have here 1 over. Now I've got to do A times D, which is 6, minus uh, C times B, I mean C, you know, which is 4. So that's going to be 1 half. We're going to swap those two and take the negatives here and here. Now this is one half and I can do a scalar multiply so I can multiply the one half times everything inside the matrix. So one half times two is one. Here I get negative one half. Here I get uh, negative two and here uh, three halves. This would be our uh, inverse matrix. So in a minute we'll show using the graphing calculator that we both get that number and also show that it meets the definition that we had over here of giving us our, inver our identity matrix. So I have put this matrix B into the uh, calculator. So let's look at that. So here, let's bring up matrix B to show that it's what we had in our example here. Now to generate the uh, inverse, we would bring up the symbol for matrix B by using our matrix menu, and then we use this X to the minus 1 button, and we press Enter, and we can see here in decimal form we get the same thing here. If we multiply our matrix B, whoops, I want matrix B, times its inverse, so I bring up matrix B again and use the inverse button. We get the identity matrix and if we multiply in the other order, so we'll do the inverse first times again the same matrix, we get again the identity matrix. So we're going to tie this together in just one second here to show how we can use the inverse matrices to solve a matrix equation. So I've put a uh, matrix equation here, a simple one that we might want to solve. And again, we can't divide by C, so we need to multiply our left side of the equation by the inverse of C. Now remember in general, matrix multiplication is not commutative, so I can't put the C inverse in between here. So I have to multiply by C inverse on the left of that variable. And to maintain that same 
order, I have to put it on the left when we multiply the other side of the equation. So this is a situation that's different than numbers. The order that we multiply with regular numbers, it doesn't matter. Now we learned here that an inverse times itself gives us the identity matrix. And we also learned that the identity matrix times a matrix gives us that matrix. So now in terms of the letters, we have solved our problem. So we're trying to find matrix X that makes this true. So I've entered these matrices C and D as an example into the calculator. So let's solve that. So come up to the solution X, we need to multiply C inverse. So second matrix, bring up matrix C. Do its inverse. We're going to multiply that times matrix D. Again, I've previously entered the quantities in there to save time on the video. And this is our matrix X. That's our solution. Now, to verify that that is the solution, we would want to multiply C times that matrix and see if we get D. So let's try that. So second matrix C times, now we want to bring that matrix up, so just like with numbers, we can use the second answer, so that's bringing that matrix back up, and we press enter, and we get our matrix D. So this would be our solution here. Uh, actually, we, we could write it over here, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. Uh, we're going to look at one more example before we end. We can now see our next example, so we have this matrix equation, and for our example, we're using the matrices up here. Now, when we solve a matrix equation, we want to do it with the letters first before we start pulling out the calculator so that we know what to enter into the calculator. So again, here we would want to subtract matrix F. So now we have EX equals G minus F. To get rid of the E here, we have to multiply by the inverse matrix. And I'm multiplying on the left. So over here, I have to multiply that on the left. And here we need parentheses because we're multiplying times that entire uh, operation. And again, over here, that gives us our identity matrix times x, which is x. So to solve this matrix equation, we're going to do this computation in the graphing calculator. I've already entered into E, F, and G, those matrices. We explained how to do that in an earlier video. So let's clear our screen here. So we got second matrix E, which is five. And we're taking its inverse. And then we need to multiply that times, and we need a parentheses, matrix G, which is seven, minus matrix F, which is six. Close our parentheses. And again, we get our solution. This is the value of matrix X here that makes this equation true. Let's verify it. So let's plug in the X here. So we need to take E, matrix E, which is 5, times X, which is stored in our memory. So we do that by timesing the second answer. Now we need to add matrix F. And we should get matrix G, which is here. So let's press enter, and indeed we get that. So again, uh, matrix using the calculator, uh, matrix equations are no harder than uh, regular equations. Again, if we had to do that by hand, all these multiplications and the inverse would be uh, difficult. In an upcoming lesson, we will be applying this now to solving our uh, complicated systems of equations. Talk to you later.